Hello everybody and good morning. Uh, we're in a different world today. Uh, but that's because we got some uh, things I want to show you. Uh, this is just my uh, little area to keep junk. So a different world, you get to see a little bit of different things. This is actually not my creation. This here is mostly Ike's stuff. Like this entire thing right here. All designed by Ike. Cre creepers try to chase you. They drown in the water outside. It's pretty cool. But uh, what we have is something out over here that I want to show you. Now, ever since 1.7 came out, I was uh, messing with pistons. And I even made a video about doing pistons with different things. But there was one thing I couldn't do. One thing that kept on troubling me constantly because of all the timing. But, over there, I have a little device. So let's take a little bit of damage. Recover it right away, because we're in, like, builder mode. I call it builder mode. It's actually peaceful. But, you know, when you want to build something and you don't want creepers creeping your stuff. This says, protective wall lever control. Well, control lever. And i like, well, well, where's the wall? We'll hit the lever. Oh, and it builds a wall for me, and that's pretty cool. It's it builds a big wall for me. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Once it starts doing that, all you have to do is flick that off, and it'll stop. Uh, currently, this is non-resettable, so you have to do it by hand. And this only works with gravity blocks, so stuff like sand. So let me show you how it works. Alright, so I took everything away except the bare essentials. Uh, what we have here is a series of pistons working underground, uh, if you want to put it underground. Uh, this probably can all be condensed out here, but, you know, I've just been having trouble. But uh, this is the lever. On the other side of this thing here is the lever. It keeps a signal going into this block that keeps this redstone torch off, keeping the whole device off. Now these repeaters right here are uh, designed to loop the system into a, a pulsing thing. Pulsar? Whatever. But uh, let's go from start to beginning. So I turn the lever off. This thing goes on. Redstone travels along here. I had to put that in there to extend the uh, the signal. Uh, it first powers these things on, which pushes this sand up by one. And then it travels along here. Now these two I had to put in here due to timing, I think. But, uh, yeah, they're put in there to uh, delay the signal just like half a second long enough. So the sand gets pushed under that sand when that goes down and doesn't break the sand so this is a lot of trial and error timing to do but it goes up back over to here uh, like I said pushes these under that sand so it goes up comes along here hits this to extend the signal and then goes back through the the layers comes into here turns the this off for half a second until the signal dies and then turns it back on and repeats it. Now you could make it so the uh, the signal will die but that involves putting more than 12 blocks on so that way this can no longer push them up and it's pushing sand to the side and all you have to do is bump this up by one so that way when the sand gets pushed over, uh, it forms something like this. So it blocks the redstone signal. And it'll keep pulsing, but it won't work. And it'll be just silence. And you'd have a wall. But you'd have to manually reset it, and putting this underground is the main point of it. But anyway, uh, there's a shorter version of it over here. Uh, simpler poor man's version 
Uh, what we got here is uh, the same thing over there, but only in three. And you only need one of these. Nice little condensed version here. This travels into the circuit here. It's a circular circuit. And then this circular circuit empties out into the exterior circuit that is the delayer. So if I just flick this switch here, you see it in action. And there you have it. So that's how to build a uh, gravity-based wall with a uh, piston.